morning, welcome to the vlog. It's the 2nd of January, 2024, and we're just about to <laughs> do another range test. We're gonna try and get to Land's End and back um, without charging. Well, this says we've got 146 miles in the GOM, 100% battery. Um, realistically, we should do it. We should be able to get there and back without having to charge. Um, the weather, as you can see, is absolutely horrendous. Yes, there's gonna be people going, why are you out driving in this weather? Well, yeah. Anyway, the first place that we're heading to is Fradden. Um, so we can get something to munch. Tesla chargers that have been installed in Fradham. So, um, which is Hamburger Hill to us locals. Just before the, uh, you can turn off for Nuki. We can turn off for Nuki one before, but Fradham is a, is a favorite holiday stop for people. So what I've got to say is I'm using the Bonnet app today. Um, uh, normally it's pretty good, um, but it's today. It says we're going to arrive at our first stop, which is Fradden, as I said, with 77% charge. We've only done seven miles and used 5% battery because we've got heating on, we've got wipers on, uh, we've got a headwind. Um, so I can, I think that is today. I, I will be really, really surprised if it's anything more than 70% when we get there. Travelling to Cornwall and Fratton Services is on the A30 uh, between the um, Summercourt turn and the Indian Queen's turn. And Fratton is known to the locals as Hamburger Hill. Now, here you have two um, shell recharge chargers and you also have I think it's eight Tesla chargers that have just been installed in the back car park. Um, these weren't live um, Christmas Eve, uh, sorry, New Year's Eve. I came past, they were still covered up. So, um, but we'll have a look and see if they're live now um, when we or we'll do it when we pull out to be honest see so yeah to your left is the oh is there three two or three charges there i couldn't see uh, so there's two charges there Tesla. There you go. Um, any spaces? Yes, there is. No, that's a pickup point. We shall go there. We shall go here. Um, and the Tesla chargers are on the way out. So, so we're going to park up, quickly grab some breakfast, and then we'll go and have a look at the Tesla chargers. Right, so we've just had some uh, breakfast at Mackey's um, and now we're driving round you come out the back of McDonald's drive round and there are some new Tesla chargers so I'm just going to I'm just going to pull up in one these are the V3s I believe which have the um, card readers on the back. I, I'm not sure if these are going to be open to the general public yet or whether it's just going to be Tesla owners. Um, now they're still all completely covered up so I can't actually tell if um, if they are the, I should imagine they are. I can't see them installing it and then not opening it up to the public um, so there's one two three four five six seven eight uh, obviously I learned just through watching people like just get a Tesla um, that these are installed in blocks of eight um, Dave takes it on um, I get a lot of a lot of 
info from them and I learn a lot from them. So as I say, so eight Tesla chargers being installed here. Um, I'll keep you updated as to when they open. So. so anyone that's coming to Cornwall in 2024, this is uh, the A30 at uh, Carland. Um, Carland Cross going towards Chiverton Cross roundabout. Uh, it's absolute carnage at the moment. Um, the old road, as you can see, has completely disappeared in front of us. Um, and we are now going to do a, a right, go all the way round the roundabout and go up onto what will be the new road. Um, but this causes so much grief, it is untrue. Um, I often get stuck um, coming home for it. So the old A30 is off to our left. Um, this is the new bit here and it is just madness, absolute madness. But hopefully by the time anyone visiting Cornwall comes down in 2024, it'll all be open. is a lot lower <laughs> it's, sorry, it's a lot more than it normally would be so um, it's not that bad yeah so oh, welcome uh, please pay here nothing hopefully this is just a turn up and park so I wasn't actually going to charge. I want to see what the charges are. If they are, I think it's grid serve, which I think is a pretty expensive. I'm not one. Not I can't remember what grid serve is at the moment. But I might just put it on a trickle charge. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. Parking charges apply whilst charging your car. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I wonder. I wonder what I've got. Right, anyway, let's um, let's just stick this on charge rather than risking not having enough charge. And oh, I need to come over a bit tonight. This is astronomical, 79 pence a kilowatt. It's mad. I'm only literally going to take this up to probably 40% because um, that's 10 kilowatt is going to cost seven quid. It's mad. Let's 
so we've just yeah we've got we've got stuff anyway so we've just ordered basically some cheesy chips and three hot drinks and it's 19 quid no wonder people don't come to these destinations because it's just ridiculous um oh anyway that's the end of my whinge right we've been on charge for 45 minutes ironically which is mad so it's going to stop the charge at 97 percent um can you unplug us when it goes right that's it and let's see how much it's gonna to tell us how much it's charged in the payment terminal okay it is 21 pounds so it's cost 21 pounds to charge the car which is absolutely ridiculous we are back in the car um, as you've just seen 21 pounds to charge the car which is horrendous we're heading off now to the lizard to um Anne's pasties because we just had a cup of tea and some cheesy chips here so let's go and uh, let's go and get some some pasties right Winges, winges for Land's End. Number one, if you're coming in to charge your car, add an extra five pound minimum onto the cost of charging because they have automatic number plate recognition cameras here and it is a five pound minimum charge to park your car. So you are, you're gonna pay whatever you pay for your charging plus at least, at least a fiver. Um, if it's after 6 p.m. it's only three pound so Ooh. so add that onto your bill um, this says this is just becoming a take-on really then charges should be outside the jurisdiction or if you're parking in that area you should be able to charge for a charge yet another take-on and we'll give all the EV haters something to scream about about how terrible it is that you have to pay to charge anyway we're going to go down towards Selling Cove just have a quick look see how blustery it is down there and then we're heading off to or in actual fact we uh we need to get to Anne's Pasties so we might have to give Selling Cove a miss because I think Anne's Pasties closes at four Pasties or Selling Cove? Pasties. Pasties right we are we'll be back when we get to um the lizard Disaster has struck. Um, before we before we made it down here, we checked to see if Anne's Pasties was open, and it said it was. It lied. It's closed. So we're going to check a few more now. We're going to go back by Howe uh, and see what's open there. So um, I don't know about you. I'm I'm kind of gutted, really. Yeah. More the pasty. More the pasty. Right, let's try somewhere else. Yeah, don't um, <laughs> Right, we're in Howe. Um, and Philps' pasties is just up here on the left. So, I've got to say, I do honestly prefer a uh, Anne's pasty because they are just brilliant. Uh, I'm hoping Philps' is open. Yeah, yes. the door's open. Let's see, get in. Oh, famous pasty. A pasty. Get in. Right. Oh. Let's get parked and go and get a pasty. We can do this. 
We've got pasties. We've got a pasty. Show everyone your pasty. Hey. <laughs> right. We're gonna we're gonna head home now. Um, gonna have a slow drive home. So I'll tell you the totals once we get there. Oh, to add, we've used about 20% battery from Land's End to the Lizard and back again. So pretty happy with that. And we've done over 40, was it 40 miles? I can't remember. Um, no, 53 miles. And we've used 20, 22%, I think. So, right, back presently. So just thinking about it, I actually think it proves that with the batch, when the battery is warm, your distance, it, it obviously is improved because we've done 57 miles. Uh, we've still got 102 miles showing on the gone um, and 60% battery left. So um, we've actually I've been up 59 miles. So um, this it would make the range 160, which is what this is meant to do. Um, we've got 56 miles till we get home. So I just think where I didn't precondition this this morning, it goes to show that without the preconditioning, your range is definitely, definitely reduced. Obviously the headwinds, the rain, everything didn't help. Uh, but using the grid surf charger at, at Land's End um, and actually being, it for, being on it for longer than I wanted to, is just to increase the temperature of the battery. So um, absolutely shows what we all know. Um, but I'm still happy with it, so let's keep going and see how much charge we've got left we're getting. So 50% battery left, and we've done 70 miles, 72 miles, sorry, with um, the 98% charge we had when we left Land's End. So we've got 78 miles left. That's probably more realistically 70. So we're still looking, we're still doing fairly well with the battery warm. Ah, right. We are but a mile from uh, our destination. And by the time we get back, I would have used 75% battery. Um, exactly the same as I did driving to Land's End. But this time, instead of doing, we actually did. Uh, 91 miles I think it was or 88 miles um, and we were at Land's End this time we've done 112 so we've used exactly the same battery and done a lot more miles because the battery was warm the battery was warm from it being charged on that grid serve charger so I think we can safely say that with the miles covered warmer battery much more improved uh, range so yes winter range is reduced it was redu as you can see from the previous test it was reduced fractionally but when the battery is not preconditioned as I did this time it's massive absolutely massive that's nearly 20 miles difference um, in range um, Cost wise, um, I've charged once, um, 21 pound I think, um, and then obviously it's obviously pre-charged before we left the house. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this then give us a thumbs up, if you don't already please subscribe and above all ring the bell for notifications. Uh, and on that note, I'll say goodbye and we'll see you again in the next vlog. See you later.